So, we're gonna go with a different kind of video. I have to double check that I put the piston rings on correctly. So, let's just hop into this and uh, start taking it apart again. What I mean by a different kind of video is that I'm gonna try talking over this one instead of just having it like the normal ones where I don't really talk that much. Here comes the fun part. This was super easy to get back in last time. I'm talking specifically about the cam camshaft, I think is what it's called. Alright, that's a 12 up there. Doing a diagonal uh, removal on these screws. I'm just going to throw all the hardware into this magnetic tray. Alright, so we got the rocker off already. Lefty Lucy. Sweet, so looks like this is coming apart pretty fast. Unless I mess it all up at some point, that'd be rather unfortunate. Get the camshaft out already. Whatever, this is called the timing uh, gear. We're going to take a screwdriver, just pop it through so it does, the uh, timing belt doesn't fall in. This long bolt on the side. This is a 10. And then we got to get this little uh, side piece out. And then there's also a random bolt right here. Alright, looks like we need the wrench. I could have just kept that on. Let's grab the shorty. I have no idea what this one's for. So we don't lose it. Let's just keep it right here. Now onto this side. That looks like an eight. So this is a little retainer. I just gotta grab pliers now. Bam! So we got this little oblong piece here. It's for the timing. And I think we have everything off now. Oh, we have this piece as well. So this has a nut and then a flat head, but it's loose right now because I did not adjust the timing yet. So there we go. This just looks like that. Uh, I gotta grab something else to uh, I'll just use this. Grab the timing chain. Alright, so now we have the top head off. And I'm just gonna set this off to the side. Take off this, uh, whatever this is called. Do I need to take anything else off? I don't believe so. 
They're just trying to. Uh... Oh, we dropped the belt. That's all right. It doesn't look like this piston's scored up at all, so we should be good. Right now we got some baby pliers. So we just got that little pin. Pin. We got the little spring. Now I'm just gonna pop this out, the pin part. Alright, so now we have the whole piston out, and I'm gonna readjust the camera so that we can actually get a good angle on this. Alright, so let's just look at these rings. So there's, it says 100, and then R, and there's nothing on this side. So it looks like, well, at least we know the top one was upside down. Oh, looks like we had this middle one correct. I'm just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna pull it out anyways, just so we can get the bottom ones off too. I need uh, I need my pick set. Get my picks. So we got another. It says 100. We'll just make sure that it stays uh, facing up. I don't see any uh, markings on this smaller one. I don't think the corrugated ring has any markings on it. Oh, it actually does. Does it? No. I don't think so. Alright, so we're good now. Uh, only one of the rings was upside down, so thankfully I took it apart just to double check, but now we have the fun of putting everything back together. At least uh, uh, silver linings we can go through and uh, get practice so if I ever feel like doing this again I'll be more prepared or however you want to view it silver linings uh, let's just start building this again but first let me grab the instructions I'll actually read these to you guys so use Honda service manual available from dealer online I don't have that Wash cylinder with hot soapy water and then apply a thin layer of. Ooh, we did not wash it. What's the worst that could happen, right? Put these guys in dolls and empty case. And these guys are down, and the dolls are in the top. The dolls are in this cylinder here. Oh, so we have one in there, and we have one in the assembly, or the piston, or, no, this is the piston. This is the big bore. Uh, if you couldn't tell, engines are not my forte. We're doing this together. I'll actually, I'll keep reading this just to make sure we get everything. <laughs> And then timing marks. This is gonna. This is what I was struggling with last time. So let's just see. Timing marks. The T should be visible on the flywheel and pointing at. Is this the T? Flywheel. And is this what they're talking about? I see an F. Oh, I see a T. Okay, T is right here. It looks like it's almost directly lined up with the. 
Uh, I think it's called a keyway. You know what? We could uh, polish this up with something or other right before we put it back all together. Nice, nice. The T should be visible on the flywheel and pointing at the triangle notch in the cases, indicating that the piston is at the top. Triangle notch? Oh, there's a triangle notch right here. So right here is that triangle notch. We're going to have the T pointing at that. Okay, because then when we spin it... Ah, uh, okay. When we spin it, then the key weight's at the bottom. So then we're going to assume that the T's at the bottom. And then that means that the piston, like everything else, is going to be at the bottom. When we spin it again, this is there. This is at the highest position. So I hope you're following. Oh, and here's that little O. We'll be at the top with the lobe. I'm assuming the lobes are these. So it's saying when the when the piston's all the way up, then the camshaft should be like this. With the O at the top and the lobes facing down. Okay. So that's a lot of information and now we're just gonna make it work. For the instructions, we're supposed to put the other sir clip in first, going on the uh, timing side. So we have the intake side, which is the back. This is going to be the timing side. So the bigger hole, and then this sir clip first. Alright, so we got that sir clip in. Pinky so long. There we go. So again, we start from the bottom, and we're going to use one of these these small thin clips. Go straight into the bottom. And then we got the corrugated ring, and we're just going to make sure that they're not uh, lined up. All right, so now, let's see. Uh, it is not sliding in yet. So then this black clip next, and again, we're gonna use the writing on the top. This goes in slot number two. And then we got, again, letters facing up this time. All right. Where is the top bore? Right here. Timing on this side. And then the larger of these two ports is going to be that way. So we're just going to pinch these clips in. Huh, that was a lot easier. Now hopefully it stays easier. And we got this little piece, timing adjuster. It's going to slide into this hole and then this little spring it's going to grab a piece or a hole at the top. Let me drop this in. Alright, we got the pin through there, now 
We just need to put the uh, other sir clip in. So that was a lot easier that time around. Now we're just going to put this uh, gasket, yeah, metal gasket. Nice. Uh, I'll need to remember to install that all the way later. Now we have this little piece with the oblong and we want to get this pin to go into a slot in these upper, uh, whatever this is called, upper part of the engine. Alright, that was easy. Now we have this little piece and this retains this oblong piece. Next we have the cam. Just drop this in. And uh, this O is, has to be facing towards the top. You should be visible on the flywheel pointing at the notch in the triangle. The O the top and the top. camshaft lobes pointing down. I simply put the flywheel on, not even all the way. I'm going to be able to spin this a lot freer. We're not going to do it too much because uh, there's no oil in here. I have it pointed at the triangle notch. Triangle notch and the T. We pull this off. Pinwheel is at the key weights, pointing straight up towards the sky. And now, all right, looks like everything's still on there. All good, good. And uh, let's just try to get everything installed again. So we have the lobes pointing down, O pointing towards the sky. there. Oh, that was almost a very big headache. Don't drop the screw into the hole. Sweet. So now the T is facing the thing. The T is facing the triangle, the lobes are pointing down, and the O is towards the sky. So it looks like we got the timing set up. And it's pretty awesome because I, first time I put this together, I had no idea how to set the timing. So, sweet. Now we're just gonna put all the uh, washers and nuts on. This is 12? Yep. Alright, so this is 12. And uh, just like how we took them off, we're 
tightening them in a diagonal pattern. Sweet. Then we're gonna tighten this. Sweet. Now we just have this little piece. Uh, alrighty. And then uh, I think we just put this on now. Size this ten. Nope. It's a 10. Sweet. So, yeah, we got the engine back together. And uh, we did have one of the piston rings upside down. So, hope you guys enjoyed this quick strip down. And if this video gets more traction, then I'll know that me talking over the videos does better. And if not, then I'll just continue doing my original style. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys had as much fun as I did.